hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is austin back again with a very simple video so these are some of the projects that we are going to be doing starting next month which is september so the first project we shall be creating a quiz app using javascript so there is nothing like view react angular stuff like that so it's going to be vanilla javascript and this is the simple interface of the app they ask you the question, you select the answer, stuff like that. So let's say, what is HTML in full? Hypertext markup language. What is CSS in full? Cascading style sheet. Is PHP a front end language? Nope, it's a back end language. What is 2 plus 2, which is 4? Then the hexadecimal color code of black, which is 00. zero. Then when you submit, they scroll you to the top with this simple animation of your marks. So that's what we shall be creating in that project. This is the simple markup. As you can see, by default, I hide this. So I don't want the user to see this panel. So the one you're seeing here. So we hide it and we reveal it when the user clicks the submit button. And this is just the markup. Then for each question, it's put inside a div this class of question so the parent div has this class of question and all these options the ones you, that you'll be choosing be inside that div for each question that you're seeing here each question has the parent div with that class of question let me take you through also the simple javascript that we shall be writing for that app or project then what I'm getting access to, let me submit. Let me fail this, fail this, pass this, submit. So by default, I hide this D from the page. So basing on this class that you're seeing here of hide, I hide it. Then right here, we are just getting access to that div. Remember, I hid it in the beginning, so I want to be having access to it for later use. Let's say displaying it again, as you're seeing here. Then also, this span, it's a span element or tag that is housing these marks. So it has, it is a span, so as you can see here, and it has a class of marks by at first, all by default it's zero then here i select it using that span element and the class of max this gets access to the form so the form has the class of qns form so we get access to that form by selecting it here and assigning it or storing it in this variable that you're seeing here then these are the correct answers or the test answers so the answers that the user will have to choose here so a for question one the answer is a question two the answer is b question three the answer is b question four the answer is c and question five the answer is b then here we just prevent the default behavior when the user submits the form so by default if you don't prevent this if you don't write this line so e dot prevent default the browser will always reload the page and we don't want that we want it to happen asynchronously in the background without us seeing this page re reloading so we prevent that by doing this and then here we shall get the user answers so basing on the name attributes that you gave them so remember each question should have a unique name attribute as you can see here what is html in full so each question has this name attribute of question one q and one so that's for the first question all these all these options have to be having the same name attribute value which is q and one q and one and then for the second one all these options should have q and two q and two so for each question they should have this unique name attribute value and that's what you're doing here we get access to the form then dot the name attribute which is qn1 that's for the question one 
and then the value so you will want to get this input field and then get its value which will be a so i went on and did this to all the input elements or get all the answers that the user will be selecting or choosing this side then we i will create a simple score value set it to zero then loop through the answers submitted by the user so we shall get the an individual answer and its index and then when we are comparing if that answer that is being looped through is equal to the test answers so basing on its index so if this index of zero is equal to this index of zero in the test answers then that will be correct so we shall get this value of soccer so sorry this variable of soccer remember at first it's a zero then we increment it by 20 so there are five questions and each is 20 giving us a hundred so depending on the number of questions that you will be having and the percentage or the average marks that you want then you it will be the one that you will be putting here then when the user clicks on this submit button as you can see i get this result panel remember we have access to it here and in the html we hid it by default so it's hidden then here what we are doing we are getting that result panel and checking its class list and remove the class of hide so by default it's hidden and then when we select this they remove this class of hide and it will be displayed or displayed block on the page then for the functionality of scrolling up as you can see when you select this and this and submit the scrollers back in a smooth way so i use this window object method of scroll to so you can if you don't know this method by default you can set this the x axis to zero and y axis to zero so it will just happen in a snap of time when you're scrolling back so as you can see when i click this it just jumps to the top but with the other way of doing it shall get a smooth behavior of scrolling to the top as you can see wrong correct see it goes back in a smooth way then for the animation what you're seeing here we i created a simple variable here of output and set it to zero then created a set interval and stored it in a variable of counter so it's going to be counting obvious case so what the person that has got or scored out of the text so we use this set interval function and inside it i pass the max remember it's having access to that span element with a class of max and i'm setting its text content to the output so the output is the one that the it will keep on going through until we reach the equal max or the same digits that the user will be getting max that the user will be getting so we shall set this output if this output is equal to the score so what the user has got then we shall clear the interval so it will stop running this set interval but in case it's not yet there then we shall keep on adding to it until it reaches what the user has got and it will just happen in within 10 milliseconds so that's the simple animation that you're seeing correct correct then it will give us a hundred stuff like that so this is one of the projects that we shall be creating starting next month Peace. subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next tutorials